adjusting the seat and handlebars on your IC bike. Note, your machine may not match exactly. 1. Standing next to your bike, square your hips so that you're facing forward. 2. Loosen and pull outward the seat post adjustment knob and adjust the seat post height so the top of your seat is level with your pelvis or the top of your hip bone. Warning, do not lift the seat post above the stop mark on the seat post. 3. From there, insert and fully tighten the seat post adjustment knob. Be sure that the seat post adjustment knob is fully engaged and tightened. 4. Then get onto the bike. 5. Place your feet on the pedals. 6. To ensure that you have the seat at the proper height, you want to extend a leg to the 6 o'clock position so there is a soft bend in your knee of about 20 degrees. If there is no bend in your knee, you want to lower the seat. Modify the seat post height accordingly. 7. From there, make sure that your seat is positioned for you. Bring the pedals to the 3 and 9 o'clock positions. From this position, be sure that your front knee is aligned over or slightly behind the pedal axle. If not, use the seat adjustment handle to modify the seat position accordingly. If you find that the seat needs to be closer than what is available, reference the reversing seat post mounting bracket video for additional movement. 8. From there, make sure the handlebar is in the right position for you. To modify the height of the handlebar, loosen the handlebar post adjustment knob on the handlebar post and raise or lower the handlebars to a position that feels comfortable to you. Warning: Do not lift the handlebar post above the stop mark on the handlebar post. If you are new to indoor cycling or possibly experiencing any kind of back issues, you may want the handlebars to be slightly higher than the seat. If you are more experienced, you may want your handlebars to be level or lower than the seat height. 9. To move the handlebar closer to or away from the seat, loosen the handlebar adjustment handle, slide the handlebar to the desired position, and fully tighten the handle. Ten, start to pedal. You're looking for a soft bend in your elbows with your shoulders falling nicely to the back. Everything should feel comfortable and relaxed. To maximize your results, make sure that you establish and follow proper body form. Start with your feet, making sure that they are relatively flat. From there, your knees are pointing forward. Your hips and core are braced, but not too braced. After all, this is a cardio workout, which should supply some activation through your hips and core. Your shoulders are down, your head and chin are neutral, and you're ready to ride.